Okay, so Dr. Brian Cox is from uh, uh, the Spinal Clinic. Yes, sir. Here in Ghana. Welcome to the show. Thank you very much. So How good are you? to see you as always. Yeah. Oh, it was <laughs> wonderful to see you That's all. That's a work as well. of art right there. Mm -hmm. A spine that looks and feels. Oh, good. yeah. Yes. But don't you think so? It, definitely. Yes, indeed. Definitely. We're we still need to take care of it. Definitely. We need to definitely. We're still talking about um, the spine, the three stresses, um, the, the, the three causes of stress to the spine. But there were a few questions that came in from last week that I wanted to just address quickly before we jump into today's topic. Oh, that's no problem. Okay, so quick questions. Um, I've had an accident for, for some, time, uh, some time ago, and ever since I've been having pains in the left side of my chest, what could mm. be the cause? What can I do to stop the pain? This is a question that came in from one of our viewers last week. Well, it's probably the rib out of, out of alignment. In fact, let me get this spine real quick. What happens a lot of times is that when we have the accident, sometimes they may have their seatbelt seat on, belt. and with them having the seatbelt on, it could cause pressure. And with it causing pressure, the, the, the vertebrae could shift from one side to the other. Mm -hmm. And right beside the vertebrae, there's 12 thoracics. That's the back area. Mm -hmm. But right there is a cartilage. And then right after that is ribs. And those ribs go all the way to the, stern, um, to the front part, the sternum. Now, when it kind of shifts just a little bit, ka cra ka cra a few, a few, v, 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 mm -hmm. small, small. Mm -hmm. Small, small. Yeah. Just a little bit, when it, when it, when it um, twists, it could cause pressure and you may have pains. Sometimes people not only have pains in the back area, but also in the chest area, in that same exact spot. In fact, we have a lot of members, um, and it could be right or the left side, but we have a lot of members who come to our office because of that main thing, because they're having either chest pains or because they're having um, mid-back pains, or I should say more on the left side or more on the right side. So it doesn't just have to be on the left side. In fact, I think there's a comment about somebody having it on the other side as well, and also in the mid-back. Okay. Great. Bismarck from North Kaneshi says, when he sits down for a very long time, then he feels pain on the left side of his back. Mm -hmm. What could be going on there? Like the lower back, mid-back? Yeah. yeah, he didn't specify, but he said left mm -hmm. side of his back. Left side of his back. Mm -hmm. Well, one thing is, you see how you're sitting right there? Mm -hmm. That could be one of the... Uh, mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Could be one of the causes mm -hmm. there because you feel uncomfortable right mm -hmm. now. I know. I mean, that's your style, so I, I can understand. Mm -hmm. But when you sit in that type of position, it could cause the pelvis to go out of alignment. Okay. It could also cause the sacrum to go out of alignment, which then will cause the low back to go out of alignment. It could be that he's putting a wallet in his back pocket. Uh, now, with him putting in a wallet in his back pocket, a lot of people don't think of that as a stress. That's a physical stress. And a lot of men, in fact, I'm believing that a lot of men uh, who are looking at it probably have a wallet in their back pocket. Mm -hmm. um, in fact, one of the things we do at our office is we tell people if we catch them <laughs> with a wallet or anything in their back pocket to make sure they have plenty of money. You know why? Because we will take the money out of their, out of the wallet. Out of their wallet and have a nice big party. <laughs> uh, me and Kafwe will have a big party. <laughs> One time. Yes. <laughs> Final question. And yes. this was asked last week. You didn't answer it. It's from Becca in Mampong, Ashanti. Please ask doctor if sex or some sex positions can cause spinal pain. Yes. It can. Yes, some some spinal positions can. I mean, some yeah, some positions could cause okay. spinal aches. Right. Now, it depends on the type of problem you may have. Um, some people may have pains if they're on top. Mm -hmm. Some people may have pains mm -hmm. if they're on the bottom. Mm -hmm. So they, you, you have to figure out what type of pain you have, mm -hmm. and if you're having those excruciating pains during sex, then work on another position. Okay, and yeah. there are so many positions. There's a lot of Lots positions. of them, so choose the one that works for you. You know, and Kafui is an expert. So uh, well, yeah. I'm trying. <laughs> <laughs> no <laughs> <over> comment. <laughs> Zip it. Yep. Okay. I mean, the, the, you know the first answer that you gave yeah. um, about the, the accident with the seatbelt thing? Yes. I, I, I identified with it. Mm. I, I told you that yes, you I had me. that accident and I, and I feel that pain every now and then mm -hmm. as well. So right. I, I, the response definitely good for me. Right. Good for me. And, and you'll be able to call in and ask Dr. Cox questions on 0271 09 0271 Give us a call and ask the doc the questions. So, Doc, back to you. Yes, sir. This week. Doc, I'm, I'm thinking that um, you might have to probably run us through this again. 
I okay. see a lot of writings there. Um, I know, yeah, we all did biology in school and all of that. Um, sometimes when you mention some of the names, I, yes. I, I know that there might be people out there that are not familiar with what that you're saying. So uh -huh. every now and then, let's get a bit of, uh, more education. Okay. On, yes. Yeah. On the spine. The spine. Yes. yes. So um, would you like me to come over here and Please. discuss? Please. Okay. If you will. All right. And if you need assistance, I can come and join you up there. Oh, you can come anything. and join me. Up there. Anything. All right. Now, um, as I mentioned earlier, yeah. when you look at your spine from the side, there's four curves, a curve in the neck, the mid-back, the low back, as well as the buttocks region, okay? Now, there's seven cervical in the neck region, there's 12 thoracic in the mid-back region, and there's five lumbar, low back, in the low back region, and in the sacrum is where the buttocks area is. Yes. If there's too much curve, that's not good. If there's too small of a curve, that's not good. Now, a lot of people have specific issues in their spine, but they don't realize that it's a possibility that their nervous system isn't operating properly or they may have what we call a subluxation. And a subluxation is a misalignment in the spine. If you break the word down, sub means less than or below. Lux means... Like we have in math, right? I'm sorry? Like math, like exactly. sub. Exactly. Sub, sub yes. means less than or below. Lux means light or life, okay? So if you have a subluxation, you have less light, less life, less energy going to certain areas of the body, and it could cause certain symptoms. Now, some of the things, um, in fact, innervation, the nerves go to specific areas of the body, like the intracranial blood vessels, eyes, um, I'm not going to go through everything on here, neck muscles, skull, and so forth, so on. So some of the possible symptoms a person could have would be headaches, migraines, dizziness, um, allergies, head colds, fatigue, vision problems, runny nose, um, um, arm pains, hand pains, numbness and tingling down the arms, um, asthma, heart problems or heart conditions, high blood pressure. In the mid-back area, it could have problems that consist of um, wrist pains. Uh, it could, in fact, right up here at the upper back region, right at the upper back. In fact, unusually, today, this, this week or this month, we've had about five people who couldn't lift their, I mean, they have to go like this because the clinic? there's so much pain. At the clinic? Yeah, okay. because they're having so much pain in their um, the neck area? Well, not just the neck area, but all the way down from their neck to their shoulders, shoulders, all the way down to the fingers. And it could be the brachial plexus, which is dealing with between C4 and C8 nerve, all the way down there, and also T1. T1, yes, which is the bone right in this area here. Great. That can also cause shoulder pains and so forth, so on down the arms. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> Even digestive problems okay. could be caused because your nervous system isn't working properly. It could be a couple of things. It could be because the vagus nerve is not sending the proper information down to the internal organs, or it could be the sympathetic nervous systems where the vertebrae, let's say T6, T6 is right around the stomach area. T6 is right around the stomach area. Mm -hmm. So some people are having ulcers and other types of things. And we'll not only adjust the spine, but we'll also do some other internal organ type of things that will help alleviate or reduce some of the symptoms um, of ulcers and things like that. Of course, we have to make our changes as far as lifestyles. But everything from heart conditions, asthma, because that nervous system controls every working organ of the body. If that nervous system isn't working properly, the rest of the body is not working properly. So it's very important that we, we, um, we do these things. In fact, standing, even people standing, if I could, if I could get... Talking about standing, I mean, you talked yeah. about how that you sit for, uh, what, every 15 minutes you have to stand up and stretch yes, out a little bit. Yes, yeah? we recommend doing that. But I, I said I could help you. I could, I could have gotten Oh, you could have gotten it from me. Oh, yeah. I'm sorry. sorry. Is that okay? Yeah. Yeah. So okay. Was, Cuff, no, I didn't block if you did that. No, you did not. Okay. I guess I can do this side. Yes. Well, if you look here, did you know <clears throat> that the average head weighs between 8 to 12 pounds? 8 to 12 pounds. Did you know that? 
No, I didn't know Did that. Did you know that? That's quite, that's quite heavy, right? Average head. Okay. Uh -huh. You know what yeah. I'm thinking? That yes. if you're done with this one, can oh, I, I put can. on a flip chart? Yeah. Yeah? Well, you know. Okay. I didn't, I didn't feel like macho, like macho this morning. There you go. All right. Are we good, camera? We're good. Great. All okay. right. So your head weighs 8 to 12 pounds. Mm -hmm. um, if it goes forward one inch, it adds another 8 to 12 pounds. When it goes forward two inches, another 8 to 12 pounds. Mm -hmm. So some people are walking around with a 50-pound head. Because they're going because so far forward. Because they're so far forward. Oh. And we see a lot of people, especially individuals who are on their phone all the time or on okay. the computer all the time, Let's they have what here. we call an anterior head translation. Mm. In fact, everybody in TV land, I think I may have talked about this before, but everybody in TV land, go like this. I okay? do that a lot. You yeah. do that a lot. Yeah. And, and, and how does it feel? How does it feel? For me, I guess because I'm usually mm. kind of um, asking heavy. the questions. Mm -hmm. I don't pay too much attention to it mm. when right. I'm doing it. Mm -hmm. On the set, I don't pay attention to exactly. it. Exactly. Yeah. But when you're doing it right now, yeah. do it right now. You feel mm. definitely mm. heavy. You feel it. Yeah. You feel it. It's heavy. Yeah, yeah. And it yeah. actually puts here. pressure right up in the upper back region. Mm -hmm. Okay. And when it does that, it can cause pains. It can also affect the shoulders and the arms. Mm. Some people have been doing this for so long that they're now having pains down their shoulders, down their arms, I, you know, and it's not, it doesn't feel good for them, okay? And also they may be having upper back regions, I mean back pains as well. So, in fact, I guess since you're standing here, yeah. I may use you. How about um, that? The person. Yeah. Okay. So why don't you do this? Can you okay. put your hands here for me, like please? That. Yes. Um, I'm going to push down. You resist for me, please. Okay. Resist for me. Oh, no. I'm mm. not that much. Mm. Okay. <laughs> resist. Okay. Let me check again. And she's using Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, now, and even... I felt it down here. And even though you have heels, which kind of puts you in a straighter position, mm -hmm. um, it, it, you still were weak. But what I want you to do is I want you to... Just, no, don't go like this, but okay. go like this. Just bring your chest out. Uh -huh. I and already have chests. Yes. <laughs> Pose for me. Yeah. Naughty okay, there like you that. go. Uh -huh. Like that? Yes. Now I want you to just bring your arms out again. Okay? Hold it there. Hold it up there. Resist. Uh, okay. Uh -huh. Okay. Oh, shh. Yeah, it's more stronger. Did you see how much stronger it yeah, was? Yeah, okay. Because of the posture? Not, because uh, of your posture. Exactly. Mm -hmm. See, the posture, your, your posture is the window to good health. If your posture is off, that can also affect other parts of your body as well. So we want to make sure that we concentrate on our posture. In fact, I want everybody, I would like them to show Kafui right now. You see how he's in this posture? He's cool, too, you know, <laughs> with his nice socks. <laughs> that swag, you know, that's coffee for you. All right, so we're good. Yes, yeah, so th that's pretty much what I wanted to talk about here is because so of how his heavy headaches. is your head? How heavy is your head? And like I said, some people's head between 42 to 50 pounds because of how it's putting so much stress. And a lot of individuals have what we call hyperkyphosis, especially the you know, older women. Mm -hmm. They have what we call hyperkyphosis, where their vertebrae is too much of a curve there. Does it come with old age? It mm -hmm. comes with, well, it comes, it, I've seen younger people with it as well, mm -hmm. but over time, it could occur even more because we're doing the wrong things for such a long period of time. Our disc starts to degenerate because, or I should say, decay because we're, um, doing certain things we're not supposed to do, but also the types of foods we put into our bodies as well. See, our body is made up of 75% water, just like our disc. See, the disc is also made up of 70% water, 70-75% yeah. water. So we need to replenish it by getting more water in our body, but also getting movement, motion in our body. That's why it's very important that we exercise and do those things as well. Because when we do these things, we get motion in our spines and we're able to um, operate at our optimal level. So it's very important that we, we do these things and work on then getting, of course, getting chiropractic care. I, 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 is a healthy you still? We're live on GH1 TV. It's GH Today. Still in the lifestyle segment, and we're talking the stresses yes. to do with the spine. Yes. And um, you were talking about um, 
the, how heavy that your head is and yeah. the demonstrations mm -hmm. that we've been having. And, and I'm tempted to, uh, let me just put it straight to you. Yes. So there's this fashion trend where us ladies, well, unfortunately, I'm not able to do a lot of the weaves, but mm -hmm. you see young women mm -hmm. kind of carry a lot of the weaves, you know, mm -hmm. all in the name of fashion. Mm -hmm. um, how can we kind of tie that in, you know, with this... Um, of the spine. Education of the spine. Yes. Yeah. Well, there's a lot of other things that, you know, the weaves and things could possibly do to our health. Is it relevant uh, to it, by the way? Uh, uh, yes, it can be. Yes, it can be. But a lot of times when they have a lot of hair, um, when they're sitting down, their head is forward because the hair is back like so. So the head is kind of forward. And the weave has some type of weight to it as well. For some so, of them you can tell. They look so heavy. Yeah, some, you can definitely look at yeah. it and kind of see that it's a little heavy. But what happens is that when their head is kind of forward, that can cause stress in the upper back region as well. So <clears throat> if you have your weave, make sure that you, you, know, you, you concentrate on your posture. Because if, you have, if it is heavy and your head is forward, especially with the heels and, you know, you know, all that, <laughs> it, it could cause spinal issues. No, but I thought you just said that is. wearing heels actually pr uh, improves your posture in some way. Well, it doesn't necessarily improve your posture because it gives that um, perception that it improves posture. Because, watch this. Take your shoe off of me. Hey. Really? Yes. <laughs> you you want to sit down and take it off? Okay, you Oh, can. no, I'm okay. All right. Mm. Barefoot, right? Yes, barefoot. So come down. Come on, I'm still come tall, on. by the way. Yes. <laughs> All right. So, okay. Now, what I want you to do is stand like you normally stand. Okay. Okay? Hold it here. Mm -hmm. It's probably even weaker. Hold okay. it. Okay. Hold it there. Okay. So oh, yeah. That's so easy. easy. It's weaker, now, right? And, and, and it's so easy. And, and, and if you look at it, in fact, come here. Come, come, come. Come, come. Which way? To face the camera? No, don't face the camera. Okay. okay. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Now, Mm -hmm. If you look here, mm -hmm. this is where her shoulder is. Okay. This is where her ear is. Right. So her ear is about an inch and forward. Is that correct? Yeah. Do you see that? Correct. Cameraman? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So the ear is somehow back, I mean forward, I mean. Mm -hmm. So with that happening, that can cause tension in the upper back region. Mm -hmm. Okay? Mm -hmm. and, and, and she could have these pains that she's complaining the about all okay. the time okay. in the back. And then, of course, we have the breastuses. So that right there could cause... You that, know, that, that is the chest, my that's chest, the chest that I was referring to. Uh huh. Earlier. Yes. And and and, it's, <laughs> and and when you're walking around, when you're walking around, be proud, women, women, be yeah. proud of your chest. We are. You know, so you walk around with, with swag. Mm -hmm. yeah. You know, it's so good. chest out like that. Chest out. But you know what? You know? No, not that she say this. Look, come on. When we were growing up, I remember there were times that my mom would go like, uh, "You're two chests out." out. You know, yeah. don't walk like that. So, so there, there are times they, they could actually, you know, kind of bring it back. Bring it back, yeah. No, so, so get you know. back, yeah. So it's bringing a culture of not taking care of your posture. Mm. So we want you to change that mindset. Wow. Remember, healing comes from where? Above, down, inside, inside out. out. Above, Above, down, down inside, inside out. out. So sometimes we have to change our thought patterns. We have to change what people think about um, about. Um, posture and other types of things because they think that you're more um, more likely to flaunt towards men but if a man is crazy he's going to do whatever he does anyway mm -hmm. so uh, you know you can't just not you can't just look a certain type of way and because ruin of your you health because yeah. of yeah. what you think somebody's going to do. Dr. Cox I'm, yes. I'm thinking um, with uh, this whole issue of posture mm -hmm. um, correct way to stand come yeah Okay. <laughs> All right. It, it, guys, it's actually more comfortable like Her this. It's more comfortable, uh -huh. yes. And then you also ask, answer the question about a lifetime of wearing okay. heels, what that can do to you mm -hmm. if you wear heels every day for 20, 30 years. Well, the main thing that heels do... I what was the question so again? I didn't get it. Heels. If you wear heels every day uh -huh. for every like day. 20, 30, day, 30 years. What happens? Yeah. Yeah. The majority like to know. of the people, um, they have knee problems. A lot of the women, a lot of the older ladies that we see at the office, they have a lot of knee problems because they've been, and I ask them all the time, did you used to wear a lot of heels um, when you were younger? And they say yes. Without fail, most of the time, they'll okay. say yeah. Or I say, do you, have, do you wear heels? They'll say no at that particular time when I say, when I say do you wear heels? Mm -hmm. But later, 
I'll ask them again. I said, did you used to wear heels a lot? And then they say, oh, yes, I used to wear heels a lot. And nine times out of ten, it's causing, it will cause knee problems. knee problems. But because they stand up and they're in, that, in those heels, they look like they may have good posture. But then when they take those heels off, you'll see that they're in this type of posture here. Okay. Mm -hmm. wow. Now, people who are on the computer and on the, the phones like yourself, in fact, Look at her. You you won't get coffee now. Mm -hmm. Now, <laughs> man, Kim Cass. Great day. You see this? And you see this? The head is forward. Now I'm getting old, so I can, you know I have an excuse why my head is going forward. Mm -hmm. But and he's trying to stand as straight as he possibly can. But his head is still an inch forward. His ears are still an inch forward from the shoulder region there, which is causing specific problems. In fact, let me have you go like this. Now like he's, this. like I said, he's already um, standing as straight as he possibly can, but um, um, hold it up there. Do okay. not let me push okay. down. Do not. Oh, come on. She's stronger than you, bro. <laughs> Should I, get, should I get you some heels? It's a tight suit. Should, should I get you some heels? <laughs> take, my, take my jacket, take off. jacket okay, off. Okay, take my jacket off. <laughs> Bring it here. He's trying to blame it on the jacket. I'm taking it on the jacket. Blame it on the jacket. Jacket. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> let me, let, let, let me, let, let, yeah. All right. Okay, let's, let's go. Okay, ready? Okay. All right, keep it up there. Uh -huh. You see? Doc, he needs some heels. Okay, now this is what I want you to do. <laughs> okay. I want you to just go like this. Macho man. I mean, you don't have to, no, don't, 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 oh, relax. <gasps> no, don't do that. Just bring the shoulder back. Relax it, though. I want you to look normal. Bolet. Just look normal. <laughs> Chest out. Stomach in. That's it. Stomach in. That's it. Okay. Bring your arms up. I mean, don't look like a, a, a frog. <laughs> <laughs> All right, you ready? All right. Now hold it there. Okay. <clears throat> Did you see how much stronger that was? Yes. Yes. And that's because of? Because... One thing, you was holding your stomach, your, your stomach was kind of out. Okay. With your stomach being out, stand like you normally just stand. Okay. Okay? With your stomach out, that automatically brings a, a curvature in your shoulders. So you've got to shoulders. bring it in. So just hold your stomach in a little bit. Just a little bit. Okay. Just a little yeah. Bit. yeah. Just a little bit. Mm -hmm. And when you do that, that automatically brings your shoulders back and yes. your ears yeah, up. Yeah, I feel it. You feel it. Yeah. It automatically does it. And, you know, you don't want to walk around like this, mm. you know? Feel sorry for me and things like that. Yeah, that's control. that's what I call the mapacho look. Look, you know. look. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, we don't so want. This is what they do in the, in the army when they tell you just chest out and. Yes, but you know they kind of go a much. little bit too much. Too much. And, you know, because they yeah, it's a little different, mm. a little mm. too much. Doc, so in effect, what you're saying is that we're going to have to be paying more attention to to our posture. Our posture. Our okay. posture is the window to good health. A lot of people don't realize how important their nervous system is. But how do you know? You know these positions that you are mm -hmm. because then. Like Kafui, you tried it with me. The first mm -hmm. one, it didn't work. Right. Until you positioned me. You know, mm -hmm. you, you, and then you it eventually, and then it worked better. It got stronger, right? But, but, so then, how how does the ordinary person know exactly how to, you know, how do their posture? This? Mm -hmm. And it's yes. it's difficult. It's difficult for them to do it. But the main thing is to, whenever doing anything, think of spine. Think of the spine. When you're picking up things, mm -hmm. you think of your spine. Correct way to pick up stuff. In I'm, fact, let me put this down here. Pick it up. Pick it up. I want to see you pick it up. You taught me this. That was pretty good. Yes. yes. Uh huh. You taught so me I, I, that's why I wanted to yeah, see if yeah, you did yeah, it properly. Yeah, you yes. Me that. You, he did <laughs> very well. Your you bend After your knees. knees. Yeah. Now sometimes, if a person have knee problems, it's difficult for them to maybe bend. Mm. And you know, I'm blaming it on my, mm. my you know, my pants are yeah. kind of tight, tight here. Just like well, my okay, just yeah. like you know, <laughs> I can't take my pants off. No, no. Well, you can. You can. I'm sure you're wearing boxers. Yeah, I do. I do have boxes yeah, on. So yeah, yeah. I can take my <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> yeah, so, so you may have to yeah. you may have to widen yeah. your stance yeah. if you have knee problems. Okay. Okay. Right. But why if it's too heavy, if it's too heavy, get someone to help you out okay. when lifting things. And what happens if you should do stuff like this? If you pick up It's putting yeah. pressure on the on the spine. Mm -hmm. And and don't twist either when picking like things oh, up okay, so because you see how it twists uh -huh. when you twist it it calls a, it basically there we go basically mm -hmm. it twists the spine wow yeah it causes a twist it's in like the spine and it could, exactly okay. and it could possibly okay. injure and it's not that 
you did it at that particular time, mm -hmm. the problem, the spine may have already been um, interfered with earlier, you know, because of stresses that you've gone through all your life. Okay. But then, out of out of the blue, you start to feel that pain. And right you may hear, you may hear a quick okay, okay, sound or right. whatever. Okay. Yes. Yeah. All right. You may have a. Hey, I've learned sound. something. Yeah. Well, I'm glad you learned okay. something. All right. Uh, next time, uh, we could we could. This can pass for a bed, right? <laughs> you know, usually when you're lying on the on, on the back and you have okay. to get up, uh -huh. we tend to usually kind of come up like that. Ah, the way we're supposed to get up exactly. properly. Yes, we need to. Um, we, we, we will look at it. Yes. We'll look at it. Let's, yeah. give the line, let's open the lines right now. 0271091010. 0271091010. Because of Dr. Cox, I, I my jacket is off, but I'm enjoying off. it. I'm oh. feeling quite relaxed. Yes, okay. Zero two seven one zero nine ten ten. Any questions related to spine issues would love to hear from you let me see if i can get any okay questions. Any um, questions there for Dr. Cox? This is, okay okay it just says um let me go to some of the questions okay. that you, you were asked you last week so that uh, we can get some responses from you zero two seven one zero nine ten ten this is a question that came in from last week i want to know whether stress can lead to high blood pressure Stress can lead to high blood pressure. Mm. Yes, it can. Mm. Um, as I mentioned there, um, last week, or it might have been two weeks ago, when the vertebrae is out of alignment, it could put pressure on T2 nerve. And T2, sends that, that nerve, sends information directly to the heart. Um, and see, the heart is both intrinsic as well as extrinsic, meaning that it works with nerves or without nerves. So, um, and that, as I said before, if I was to take Kafui's heart out of his body, it would pump for a little while, but then eventually it would stop pumping. And the reason being is because there's not enough nerve flow and not enough blood flow okay. in the body. But also, I want everybody in TV land to pretend as if they're angry and pretend as if you're angry. And that puts stress on you. That puts stress on your body. Okay. Let's just jump to the phone line mm -hmm. speak to Osu from Kumasi. Okay. Kwadaso. Osu, good morning. Osu, how are you doing? Can we hear Usu? We don't have him. Okay, we probably lost him. But try again, 0271091010. So stress indeed will cause... I actually cost. have a yes, question for you, yeah. Dr. Dr. Um, okay. It so could cause it. Dr. So Dauda from La Paz says that um, I have a waist pain, and I went to hospital, had an x-ray. Doctor said I'm okay, but I still have the pain. Mm -hmm. Yes. That's a question. Now, a lot of times when people... Um, um, Medical doctors look at the spine different than chiropractors look at the spine. When a medical doctor looks at the spine, they look for a lot of degeneration. Mm. They look for um, um, bulges. They look for cancer. They okay. look for those type of things. All right, and hold that thought just to mm -hmm. see if we can get uh, Selassie back on the line. <coughs> Kumasi, good morning. Welcome to the show. Good morning, Dr. Kumasi. Yes, sir. You're watching Healthy You. Any questions for Dr. Cox? Uh, I, I would like to... Say, thank you, and it's very educative and inspiring. Thank and you. And I, I, I would like to say to uh, uh, Mrs. Kaisi that she should take her time because we want to see her tomorrow. Because the way she was doing it, like, she would be, maybe I'm feeling pain, so she wouldn't, she wouldn't be coming here. <laughs> She's so coming tomorrow, don't worry. <laughs> I'll be here and tomorrow. I'll, I'll, I'll take a lot of lesson from Mr. Dr. Cost. So, thank you very much. Thank you very much. Thank, thank you. you. Thank you. That's it. Uh, well, thumbs up for what we're doing. Well, yeah. Madasi. Yeah. Madasi Pai. One time. That's Kumasi. Eh? So, yes, that's Madasi, Kumasi right yes. there. Yeah. So, you were saying something about um, how they see, how doctors see the spine and how chiropractors also see the spine. Yeah. Yes. Uh -huh. um, when we look at the spine, we look at structure and function. We look at um, the, the curvature of the spine. We look at if it's twisted to the left, if it's twisted to the right. Even though we see a lot of people with degeneration and other types of um, visual things mm. that the medical doctor may look at, mm. they don't necessarily look at how the vertebrae has shifted to the left or shifted to the right that could have possibly caused mm. the vertebrae to cause, you know, that, that may cause problems later on in life. They look at... Um, if it's gotten to a point where there's so much degeneration that they may need operation. Okay. And sometimes um, it's still not at the stage that they may need the operation, even though there's some people that definitely need operations. Okay. Um, not everyone need we'll to need have operation. an operation. All right, Doc. Um, yes. Thank you. Um, Pastor Chris is on the line from, from Ashima. Yeah. 
Yeah, Hi, Pastor Chris. Is, yeah, my name is Pastor Chris. Good morning, brother. Morning. Good morning. Good morning, sir. Yeah, please, I want to answer that some people used to crack their backbones and their hands. How would okay. that one happen? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Oh, you're yeah. talking about the knuckles. Okay, you want, to, you want to know what the impact of that is, right? Yeah, yeah, because okay. there are some people used to crack their hands and their backbones sure. because they're street tired and things. I think he said okay. backbones, too. Backbone? You can yeah. crack your backbone? Well, yeah, you can. Wow. Yeah. Okay, all right. How but you're not how, cracking how? the bone itself. Mm -hmm. It's actually, um, see, the popping sounds you hear is mm -hmm. not your bones. In fact, even when you crack your knuckles, mm -hmm. it's not your bones. It's actually gas. It's air pockets. Okay. Okay. So the popping sounds that you hear is the cartilage, because in between your um, fingers it are joints, mm -hmm. and those joints have water. Mm -hmm. And it's just like having a bottle of water. You have a okay. bottle of water, right. and you fill it up to the top, but it's still going to have air bubbles, okay. air pockets. Okay. Same thing with the disc and the cartilages in certain areas. Mm -hmm. Same thing with your disc and your spine and your cartilages and your, and your fingers. It has air pockets, and when you move them in certain areas, you may hear, in fact, if you twist your neck or whatever, you may hear a popping sound mm. in the neck region, mm. or you may hear a popping sound in your back region, mm. but that's air pockets. The only thing is that sometimes, you know, when you're doing your knuckles, everybody does that, I think, and I don't think it's necessarily... Um, I don't it think won't it's lead really, to arthritis. It's That's not why we're having Yeah, because they've taught me that okay. when I was a kid as well. <laughs> it, I believe that okay. eating more um, junk food, eating more meats, and, okay. and, and not putting in the type of mm. you know, vegetables and things like that, That's what in their body, that could cause it more so than cracking your knuckles. All right. We should continue, but uh, uh, time is our arch enemy right now. But you can still keep your questions coming in on WhatsApp 0288500600. We compile all of them, we send them off to Dr. Cox, and then he responds with, the respo with, with, with what you need to know about the questions you've asked. So, Dr. Cox, well, thank you so much. Uh, I feel thank healthy you. already just learning some of the information mm -hmm. that you've had. I'm going to cross my legs le less and uh -huh. sit better. Uh, more often. Doc, sometimes, I don't know, but for us on, on sets, mm. right, right, right. it's sometimes difficult to keep both foot down. Like, I understand. This is a three-hour show. Mm -hmm. I understand. And, I mean, you talk about swag. Mm -hmm. and mm -hmm. For us, <laughs> No, we don't want after that. After the three hours every day. <laughs> <laughs> we cross. But thank you so much. All right. All right. And I uh, look forward to seeing you next week. Next week, what are we talking about, uh, hopefully? Um, well, hmm, I forgot what it was now. Okay. But um, um, it'll be the surprise. It'll be a surprise, and they'll definitely <laughs> enjoy it. Thank you so much. Okay.